you are. I've been meaning to have a word with you ever since you got signed to WWE. Gotta say, I'm enjoying what you're doing over here on Raw. Why do I sense a butt coming? What? A butt isn't a bad thing. It's positive. It's exciting. It's an opportunity. I think you've been doing great, but I'm just curious if your particular talents might be more suited to SmackDown. Are you trying to poach me, Miz? Poach? No. Entice? Persuade? Lure? Sure. But I'd never poach from William Regal. Right. I think I'm good on Raw for now, Miz. But thanks for the compliment. Ah, I see. Another superstar is desperate to sit underneath my hallowed learning tree. Why would you say that? Well, you're still new around here, and you clearly don't fit in. Pretty early to make that assessment, don't you think? That's not the point! You know what you need? Advice from someone who's not you? Exposure! I, of course, benefit from not only being multi-talented in all areas of my life, but from being the hottest talk show host in all of WWE with my show, Ding Dong Hello. Now, being on a show like that will get you exposure. Do you want me to come on Ding Dong Hello, Bailey? <laughs> of course not, you dummy. I only book stars, not desperate newbies. Everyone wants to be on my show. It's very competitive. Then what are we doing here, Bailey? Patience, sapling. I was getting to that. Like I was saying, superstars are very competitive for press. And if you wanted exposure, I heard the bump is booking the winner of an upcoming Fatal 4-Way. Then I should try to get in that Fatal 4-Way. You may be annoying, but you do have a point. I'll talk to Regal. Wow. Original idea. Thanks for letting me know your detailed plans. Welcome a superstar who defines tenacious, brave, and driven. The following contest is a fatal four-way match. Making her way to the ring from Newcastle upon Tyne, England. Ever since she arrived in WWE, we've been wondering who Cap really is. Now I think everyone can see. A natural leader who is earning her colleagues' respect? That seems like a good reputation to have. Up aboard, it's go time for the captain. She is ready to get in the competition's face. Mi Chin is as Mi Chin does, never afraid to do something crazy. And her opponents. First, representing the OC from Fontana, California, Mi Chen! The HBIC of WWE looking to carve a name for herself and leave her mark on sports entertainment. Look, there's no doubt Mi Chin has all the tools to do just that, but can she put them together and reach the top? Here comes Raquel. And from Rio Grande Valley, Texas, Raquel Rodriguez. 
Raquel is proof that everything is bigger in Texas, even the superstars. Yeah, Raquel towers over most of the locker room, even some of the men. A great second generation wrestling talent is Rodriguez, more than ready to make her mark here. Look at the spectacular physique of this woman. A back so big, you could drive your car up to it and watch a movie on it. I gotta find out what her workout plan is like. Harder than yours, Saxton, harder than yours. From Dungeon to Diva to an all-time great. And from Calgary, Alberta, Canada, Natalia! Carrying on the legacy of the legendary Hart family in sports entertainment, Natalia always ready to handle things inside the ring. Natalia has a great mixture of mat wrestling skill as well as pure power. The Queen of Hearts is about to hold court. Four great competitors all vying for a chance to be on the bump to talk to Byron. Wait, that goes to the winner of this match? Hey, they get to talk to Caleb Braxton, too. Well, let's sit back and enjoy the only time in your life women will fight for your attention, Saxton. This is going to be nasty kick right to the gut and a boot in the face. She begins to stir back up, but does it look good? What a boot. Come on, what's going on here? Pay attention to your competition. And this might not have a pleasant ending. Grassing down like that, having the wood knocked out of you, never a good time for that to happen. A truly impressive kick out this late. She's pumping herself up, reaching out for that burst of energy. Sidewalk slam. Attack from behind. Textbook neck breaker. She thought she saw a chance to gain the fall, but obviously was mistaken. Oh, she could do it here. She kicks out with authority. Clearly, she's still got a lot of fight left in her. Into a dragon screw leg whip. Go behind, applied, taken down, and then and a nasty heel kick right to the face. That offense might have rocked the confidence of Natalia. She's saying, let's go, bring it. Section. 
Settling on the kendo stick. No good can come from this. Oh, man, a kendo shot to the head. That can't feel good. Oh, and that buys some time. DDT spiked. Referee breaks the count. Looks like a rope break. Double underhook applied. Butterfly suplex. Got their opponent set up. A drop kick in the back. Talk about intimidation. I'm not sure if it's resilience or going for the home run. Natalia wasn't ready. Now it could be over. She's on unsteady legs in the corner. Needs to recover. Cheers. 
this. This fight is going down right in front of our faces. More up close and perfect. Trying to go for it again. Oh, man, into the neck breaker. Oh. Each one keeps getting more devastating. Big win, toppling three competitors here tonight. Here is your winner. What an explosive fatal four-way. And as the dust continues to settle, here's your winner. Defeating these three opponents is a real accomplishment for her. Yeah, they made her win as difficult as possible. Hey, congrats on your victory tonight. I'd love to have you on the bump this week, if you're free. I'd love to be on the show. Thank you so much for the opportunity. Of course, we're excited too. If I'm being honest, Raquel Rodriguez was the strong favorite to win, but it'll actually be great to get a different perspective from someone new to WWE. I can certainly offer that. So what do you want to talk about? We can tailor the conversation to whatever you think the WWE universe wants to hear about. It'll be great for them to get a chance to know you. I want the WWE Universe to know where I come from. I'd love to talk about my history before getting signed. Sounds great, can't wait. We're happy to bring in someone new to the bump who's getting some momentum with her win in a fatal four way last week on Raw. If you don't know her, you soon will. She told me I could call her this, The Cap. Thanks for having me. Just to get this out of the way, I want to point out that you have your own mic today. No need to steal mine. Jeez, fine. I get it. Have you two actually had a chance to talk since your infamous Raw debut? We have not, but I want to say from the bottom of my heart, Saxton, I do not apologize. <laughs> <laughs> the WWE Universe is getting to know you in the ring, but they may not know about your career before WWE. How did you get started? Well, Kayla... Hey! Oh, what the... Oh! Hey! Stop it! Can we get some help in here? Let's go to break. Here she is, the formidable and unflappable Cap. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making her way to the ring from Newcastle upon Tyne, England. Ugh. Cap looks like she is itching to throw hands tonight. Then she's come to the right place. Her opponent wants nothing more than to take that big indie reputation and drag it through the mud. It's time for Indy Cred to be put to the test. Big, bad, and ready to brawl. Raquel already has plenty of championship gold to her name. NXT Women's Champion, multiple tag titles. It's hard to imagine anything getting in her way. There is no shortage of toughness and determination in Raquel Rodriguez. Raquel isn't afraid to pick a fight or finish one. Hey, I respect that about her. She's willing to put herself to the test. 
This matchup stems from a segment on the buff where Byron literally got between these two. I'm surprised you were able to make it to Raw tonight, Saxton. You got trucked by Raquel Rodriguez. I would be lying if I said I wasn't rooting a bit for Cap to get some revenge on Raquel after what she did to me. Ouch. Forearm oh. smash! Looking for the... Oh. I guess Kayla Braxton meant what she said. She's here to support the cap. It's not like Kayla to get involved in a match. Raquel really must have gotten under her. Oh, nice scoop roll up for the win. She gets a quick kick out there. Just using the adrenaline to stay in the match. We're no closer to a winner just yet. Left by the turnbuckles. Another well, one for good measure. Quick reflex is so important in a match like this. Not one. Not two. But three. Boom. Is an effect. Oh, perfect kick. Fighting back with a counter. down hard. Cover! Strong kick out there. She's still in this one. Oh, close line. And now she's climbing to the top turnbuckle. Oh, and she turns it around. From the top. Wow! Goes into the pin. And she's not done yet. Impressive to not even allow a two count at this juncture. Hoist it up. Look at this power slam. Oh, and that will keep Rodriguez in. Oh, look at this. The school girl gets the shoulder up. She's not going quietly into the good. And the powerhouse Rodriguez taking down her opponent. And a massive clothesline. She's quick to get her shoulder up. Not even close. A big kick to the gut. The clubbing forearm. On the attack from behind. Right after the neck. Denied with an elbow. They pull that off on such a larger opponent. Roundhouse on the mark. She's trying so desperately to get back up to her feet. Go! Did Raquel come back from that? Shoulders down. Right, a kick out. She's not done yet. Seeing is believing. And Raquel is making a believer out of all of us right now after a kick out like that. Was not able to seal the deal with her best move. Now she's asking, what more can I do? Climbing to the top rope. From the top, double stop. And Raquel's resolve might be wavering here. Raquel's got to find her spot and take advantage. Rodriguez with a nice turnaround. Turned it. Schoolboy applied to put this one away. Victory! Can you believe it? Here is your winner. And what just a win. like, yeah, uh, uh, with the special assist. So a win's a win. I can't believe this. Oh, believe it, Sax. Raquel is asking for a rematch. Why? 
Kayla may have come out and distracted Raquel, but I beat her fair. Nevertheless, WWE management has decided to grant Raquel's request. Don't worry, we know what we're doing. And since you are both apparently so hungry for press, it'll be WWE's first ever microphone match. Huh? Brilliant, I know. No disqualifications, but the only weapons you'll have access to are WWE microphones. <laughs> That's the dumbest thing I've ever heard. <laughs> mics can't really hurt anyone. Uh, can we at least use the mics to cut promos during the match? I mean, whose idea even was this? I can tell by your misplaced mockery that you have never had a microphone thrown at you. I'll have you know that they can actually hurt a lot. So, whoever thought of this match was really smart. <laughs> it was you, wasn't it? It'll be an instant classic. Commanding the ring and forging her path, the captain! The following contest is a microphone match! Making her way to the ring from Newcastle upon Tyne, England, Ill. Cap has been making waves ever since her WWE tryout. If by waves you mean doing a great job of making the rest of the locker room suspicious of her motives, then yeah, sure. Cap is on a mission tonight. One of the biggest things to happen to the women's division, literally. Texas, Raquel Rodriguez! Think about the incredible resume of Raquel Rodriguez. In her first three years, she's been an NXT Women's Tag Team Champion, a Dusty Rhodes Classic winner, an NXT Women's Champion, and a WWE Women's Tag Team Champion. Few can contend with the unbridled strength of Raquel Rodriguez. Plenty of hard work maintaining this unbelievable physique. And then she puts it to work in the ring to devastating effect. For the first time ever in WWE, we are having a microphone match. Enough amplifying sound. Tonight, these mics will amplify pound. That was more force than this stipulation, Saxon. Oh. Snap suplex. Hoisted over into the gory special. Could be looking for a submission here. Oh, this is so painful. The gory special. I don't know what choice she has except to tech. Oh, look at this power. Incredible power from the position she was in. Fez Press takes him down. And that was an efficient form of offense with that move. Showing absolutely no mercy at all. Watch out, smashing their face. Tossed into the corner. Raquel beats her to the punch. Gotta hurt. Having a weakened arm can limit you in so many ways, making it harder to execute on even simple attacks. Complete dominance. Taking this to the floor. What's she looking for under the ring? She's got a microphone and she is looking to amplify every hit she's about to deliver. Ooh, she just turned it around. Oh, what a sling blade. Oh. Telling her opponent 
that she has even more left in her tank. She's got her in her sights. Oh my gosh! One wicked attack after another. Attacks that completely throw off your equilibrium. Right hand after right hand. This is ugly. This onrush has got to be draining Rodriguez. Raquel's got to start turning the tide somehow. <laughs> and Raquel looked like a tamed animal after that offense. Oh. All the way up. Front face lock applied into an airplane spin. That's incredible. I, that could be it. Early kick out referee right on top of the action. A little closer to getting the pinfall there, but this is still anybody's fight. Choke slow. Stopping down. Elbow drop. Piercing. She can end it here. Attempt. That's still a quick kick out at this point. Just disrespectful. That's telling your opponent, you don't deserve to share this stage with me. Turnbuckle's the only thing keeping her upright. Looking vulnerable on that top turn. Oh, what a shot. Climbing the ropes. Front face into a superplex. That wasn't just a move, that was a statement. She's got the whole WWE Universe rallying behind her. Oh, man. Oh, oh God, she's blinded. And Raquel, and will it be? She gets the shoulder up. Somehow she's still in this matchup. It's unbelievable. Look out! Exploder suplex. Now she's just having her way with Raquel. Raquel's certainly being tested here. Got the front face lock applied. Nice suplex. Getting set up for something in the corner. Oh my goodness! And finds a count. And Rodriguez is finally changing the tempo with that attack. Could do what she needed to ignite a rally. Well-timed counter on Rodriguez. Big clothesline. Goal! No way Raquel's getting up now. Makes the cover. Kick out. Thought that was the end of her. I think it took everything Raquel had left in her to power out of that pin attempt. And that result leaves everyone shocked. But will the shoulder come up if that move hits one more time? This onrush has got to be draining Rodriguez. Raquel's got to start turning the tide somehow. Looking for a high-risk, high-reward situation. We're going to finish it off. Slow time bomb. Cover. Two. She wins. She wins. Here is your winner. Tonight wasn't the night for Raquel Rodriguez. But if there's anyone in the women's division who knows how to handle a setback, it's Raquel Rodriguez. Yeah, luck hasn't historically...